Oh boy. Okay, wild and crazy, I am starting off at the opposite end of the store than I ever start off at. It kind of burns a little bit, but we can do this. Who am I? I actually have two freezer bags with me today because I was dropped some food off at someone else's house. So I actually could get some ice creamy things for the kids. Big sheet pan brownies for $5.99. It's fun. So we got chicken sausage with pineapple and ginger. Dollar ninety-nine. Dollar nineteen for these carving board lunch meats. They have a lot of this beyond meat, like breakfast sausage, one forty-nine, ninety-nine cents. Of course the Jimmy Dean sausage deals. I always like to get I have a bunch of these already. Um, but $4.99 for three pounds. Lots of the Just Crack the Egg little kits for 99 cents. Got the breakfast freezer meals. They got the biscuits. Got these eight individual bowls. These are $9.99. Lots of sausage biscuits and croissants. And the egg witches. This is cute. These Belgian waffle packs for $1.49. To definitely do more pancake and waffle freezer meals. So many fun cupcakes in the freezer here. It says these are nut free, they're $1.99. This is fun. Root beer float cream bar, $5.99. You get 18 of them. And then these are like little milkshake pouches. And you get six for $1.99. ground chicken for $1.99 a pound, ground turkey, lots of these chicken tender bags for $4.99. So they have these white cheddar rice cakes for $0.99 cents each. So this big thing of Nature Valley, 48 bars, $3.99. You all asked me about dates. This is not dated until middle of March, already gone. And these sweet and salty nut chewy granola bars not dated until April. End of April, 99 cents each. Don't mind if I get a whole case. And lots of other good granola bar options for 99 cents a box. And they still have these really nice tea deals. Green tea, probiotic tea, and Godiva for $2.99. been drinking a lot of this brand of the probiotic teas. $1.29 ham. There's some ham. $1.19. There's the two good brand yogurt. Three for a dollar. Dairy free yogurt. Three for a dollar. Again, this is always my favorite section here. So they've got gogurt here today. Interesting. Easy onion, $1.99. Minced and ready to spread, it says. They usually have marked down baking projects. I got little cookie cups. These are 99 cents a box. Croutons, 99 cents. So we've got big cans here of whole tomatoes, $1.99. Tuscan bean and white 
sorry, Tuscan style white bean, 99 cents. Tomato soup, always have lots of good soup options. Okay, so we got beans, we got noodles, we got rice, big bags, there's big cans of green chilies, $1.99, diced jalapenos, $1.99, those are big cans though, all of these little microwavable mac and cheeses, 69 cents each. Alrighty, so I am getting a lot of household and like stock up items that I need. We need some more soap. So that's $8.99 for the two pack. Ooh, lots of eye creams and plump firm and lift lotions. Lots of cleaning things and coolers and chairs and wow, big chimes. Very nice. My kids would love those. We'd hear them all day. Nice little outdoor set. Tis the season. And everybody would love that. And let's have a fire. I like to visit all their pots. So these are $21. Nice big pots. And we have these. Oh, that's a nice big storage container. $129 for the deck box. Very nice. Oh, those are pretty. $47.99. My younger kids are not here to tell me what they need goggle-wise. Now this looks super comfy. I would like one. Not today, Zerg. $49.99. Very nice though another comfy one. I think I just want to sit now. I think that's that's my my issue. I want to buy all the chairs. So they have the four packs of life straws for $49.99. Okay, very serious. That nice basket set again, $29.99. I like to visit these while I'm here. They're very pretty. This is a new one, $21.99. This is a pretty pattern, $28.99. You get 12, 12 pieces. Fun colors. Now this is fun. Nice. $74.99. I'm sure my kids would want it. Workout equipment. Lots of great shelving. So that's $239 for that big shelf set. Here's some more shelving. $119.89. Bathroom things. Bathroom. Oh, that's a no, that's two separate ones. Okay. Well, I'm not gonna load anything or have anything loaded in the van tonight. This is a 36 inch one. This is the size I need. Ooh, okay. Fold out. Feels nice. And then the throne. There's pork loin for $2.39 a pound. I got two of these in my freezer though. We're gonna use up. Hey, look, we meal prepped. 
pretty much scared to buy any fruits and vegetables here because my local John Henry General Store has such good prices and I'll be remorseful if I get too much here at Costco. <laughs> Bananas are 66 cents a pound. Okay, not gonna do it, Costco. A big toilet paper stock up, $19.99, a big pack. I got some gummy building blocks. That's cute. These are $6.99. Getting stocked up on my berries for my smoothie kids. So really good price on this triple zero yogurt because they're over a dollar each at Walmart. So you get 18 in a box. I'm gonna get a couple boxes of these this time. Okay, so I am in my little pantry room. I am down to just one box of coffee, so I'm getting four more boxes. Okay, and so we loaded up on napkins. And also got more kitchen trash bags, and then the extra large trash bags. Okay friends, welcome back. We did some shopping. We did some shopping hauls. We should have a little dance that goes along with this. We hit Costco hard, lots of household stuff here too. We actually went pretty light on Sharp Shopper this month. It happens, it happens. I can spend $50, rarely do I spend that little, usually $100 to up to $300 there. One of my local friends shared a picture on Facebook just a few days ago and she had her shopping cart full of Sharp Shopper things and she was just saying, oh, her list for Sharp Shopper was much smaller but she found so many good deals that day and I said, you know what? We don't tell Sharp Shopper what we're gonna get. Sharp Shopper tells us, okay? So from that one to $300 range, Sharp Shopper, you know, it just let me know what it had for me this month and that's what I got. And then I sent Travis and my youngest boys out to our local John Henry General Store, which is also local to us here in the Shenandoah Valley. I know that they work all kinds of great deals and bring those deals to us. So I'll show you what I got for them also, but let's start. Costco, let's see what's happening over here. Okay, Costco, we see where you're going with this. We've got all kinds of great things at Costco, didn't we? Yes, we did. Well, let's start over here at the non-food <laughs> side here. So I got another pack. This has five containers of the Clorox disinfecting wipes. I use these a lot, like when kids clean the bathrooms and stuff. So anyway got one pack of those. I do have another pack on my pantry, basement, cleaning, household items, shelves, and I like to stay ahead of things. Another pack of toothbrush replacement heads there. Also, the Life Straws. Now, these are an investment. I do have some Life Straws for my family already since they were there, and they were a decent price at Costco. I think these were $49. I did go ahead and get three more sets so that we have them. They're a personal water filter. They're supposed to protect against bacteria, parasites, microplastics. I'm now reading you the label. It says each one does up to 1,000 gallons. And so you see, you could drink from a pond if you had to. Something that I like to have on hand for my family in case of an emergency. Also, I was just down at my shelves and videoing it. I don't think I have any more hand soap or I have one. Many of these items, like the wipes and the toilet paper and the napkins, I had just a few, one, none, <laughs> or a few left. I like to stay four to six products ahead on most things. So, sorry, Ma mom life got interrupted. Where were we? We were talking about hand soap? Mm-hmm. So I like to be ahead on the hand soap. I like to be ahead on the things because we need a lot anyway. 
and it's just a buffer between me and life and raising a lot of kids and running a large family trying to have a little bit ahead but we're gonna go through this quickly so anyway and the toilet paper like we're in the middle of our last Costco pack you don't want to do that I think this is a good deal it's 30 rolls for $19 I don't know how much toilet paper do we go through in a month I don't know let's see I bought four right now definitely more trash bags so I got two more boxes of the 33 gallon bags two more boxes of the 13 gallons and that's because I have a box or two of each also I have one box left of coffee pods so I got four more laundry detergent now I feel like two weeks ago I bought four containers of like the Tide Pods. And so I only have one down on my shelves right now. So that doesn't mean I'm totally out. That just means I have a second one that would be upstairs. We're using it with the laundry every day. So it makes me feel a little better. Two weeks ago we were totally out and I bought four. So yeah, I was thinking we go through one a week. Now those Tide Pod containers are not, I think there might be like 90 or so pods in there. These are 152 in a pack, so it might be more like we go through one of these Costco bags every two weeks. We'll see, maybe I should date some of this stuff. But anyway, like I say, when I'm out or I'm getting out, I'll get four to six more. And then also over there, I got two of the big Costco things of napkins. We have two baskets full of napkins on the table and we just work to keep those full. And so uh, at my farmhouse for many, many years, I reused my old dish rags. I cut them into napkins and that worked super. But during that season, even though I was homeschooling a lot of kids and I had a lot of babies and all of that, I wasn't also a full-time working mom and I do run a more than full-time business. So some of these things like disposable diapers and napkins and yes, paper plates, these are just all a gift to myself. Now these deals on the triple zero yogurt, it good job Costco, really a phenomenal deal. These are like more than a dollar, dollar twenty something, dollar thirty something for one at Walmart. I will buy them there. We have lots of folks in my house who like this particular yogurt. And so at Costco though, this box was around $13. I know I showed it earlier in the video footage, right? And so that's way less than a dollar per yogurt. So I got four boxes of that. Really good price, good job, Costco. Also, a few little helpful things. And you'll see when we go to the front of the island, I have some more just helpful little things. Yes, we do freezer meals. I do canning. I also do not mind having some of this yummy stuff. I'm the only person probably who's going to eat this, okay? I think I've had a couple other family members who try it. Same thing with these. But like, I don't know. It's a Tuesday evening. It's raining. It's a rare opportunity when I get to like watch a movie. Who knows when does this happen? The six individual bowls, I love it, okay? Over a couple months at different times, this mama will have one of these little delicious bowls. Same things with these lentils. Yes, I can cook lentils in the slow cooker. This is just a little gift to myself. And I do have a couple other family members who would get a pouch of this and eat it as well. It'll just go in the pantry. We'll eat it when we eat it. Over here, microwave popcorn. Yay, just fun for these folks. 44 bags. And then I just opened our last box of hot chocolate. So winter is not done with us here Thursday 75 80 degrees today ice storm sleet snow so anyway the kids are having hot chocolate today they will have some more opportunities to have hot chocolate and opportunities to wear shorts in February Costco totally helped me last night <laughs> we had forgot the crackers anyway I had some meals coming up and we had some chili we're working through now just different things we need crackers for so a Costco worker ran and got me three boxes thank you Costco worker also in my quick and easy I'll be glad I have these in the freezer I got two bags of these chicken breast patties there's how many are in here is it like 18 or so let's see 20 so anyway so I got a total of 40 chicken sandwiches should I need them and again even though I got this at one time one big shopping trip for this month 
some of these food items we are going to eat over the next two months, three months, four months. I mean, four or five months from now, I might have one bag of this chicken left. And it's a day where I'm like, ah, I'm so thankful that's in the freezer. That's okay. I'm glad. I'm, I'm proud of us. Also continuing for my smoothie makers, we got the three berry blend. We got the dark sweet cherries. We have some mango and some strawberries. Also just have it in the freezer. Uh, this is the cauliflower rice, but it's got vegetables mixed with it already. And it says it has a sesame ginger sauce. Sure. Meatballs. Also, my emergency mom life go-to. I do have some meatball freezer meals made. I think I have one bag left of the freezer meals that I made with meatballs. So these meatballs, I may end up prepping them in upcoming slow cooker freezer meals. I may not. Uh, we will see when I need them. Again, life is going to tell me. I'm not going to tell life, okay? So for the bread, we're totally out of bread around here. So this is eight loaves of bread. Will this last a week? Will this last two weeks? Probably not two weeks, but at least we got eight loaves. Well, I got a total of 10 gallons. Again, many times we go through a gallon a day. Easy, easy, easy. So this was just a light milk stock up. Butter. I've been rebuilding my butter stash. It was down to nothing, and I love having butter in my freezer. I mean, I just need to. It's a necessity. So I did get about probably the same amount of butter a few weeks ago. Here's some more. Let's build up that stash. Also got two things of bacon. I believe this, did I, I saw earlier? Yes, okay. So this is eight pounds of bacon. This is not Costco stuff, but Travis went into Walmart today, asked what else we needed. I said I didn't get saltines. We still need to replenish our hair conditioner stash. All they had was four of these suave conditioners. So I need to order like 20 to 40 hair conditioners. Don't worry, we run through it. We got a lot of natural curly hair around here. He got four boxes of saltines. But back to Costco, I have some kiddos who really want to do chili dogs. So I got two, two, yeah. I mean, there's six packs here total. Um, but I got two of these three packs and we will do some chili dogs. I'm thinking tomorrow afternoon maybe, and I will probably cook up three of these packs at one time for that. The Brussels sprouts and broccoli accidentally got tossed in the freezer. Oops, I meant for that to be like fresh roasting, but that's okay, we'll still use it. Um, got two things of string cheese just to have in a cheese box in our cheese box and then these little baby bell cheeses quick healthy snacks for kids some of our blueberries spilled that was sad but I got two packs of blueberries because again I have a lot of those who do not care for blueberries but then I still have, have to take care of my blueberry fans I think in my pantry I have one to two smaller containers of mayonnaise and I like to have six to twelve mayonnaise like I like everything to be especially with condiments, like if I can have a year's worth in advance for my family and we just roll through it through there, we may actually go through one of the smaller size mayonnaises a month, depending on how much tuna salad and chicken salad is going down. Um, these little personal pizzas, a 12 pack, so I have 24 total. This would just be for some Saturday where mama needs some help, okay? Of course, I want to prep pizza dough for the freezer and pizzas in the freezer, but I'm not there today, and these will be okay. Um, also, I got some light laughing cow cheese and two things of the spreadable cream cheese. I did get a stock up on some bagels. Why say stock up? Uh, it just depends. If I got people who want bagels, I might have only got a week's worth of bagels. I mean, okay. But anyway, two things of cream cheese. This is not stocking up, depending on how it goes. Somebody already ate some of these today. This is just, again, three minutes in the microwave. There's only six. Will it be gone in a week? Will we have a pack or two left in three months? Your guess is as good as mine. Also got some more buffalo style chicken dip. There are a lot of great recipes out here with this, but this mama picked it up, right? Also got some hummus, and then I also got some monk fruit. Now you will see in this Costco haul, well you didn't see, like there's no eggs in this haul. My chickens are laying again, and I have 90 eggs that I bought 
I don't know, a month or so ago. That's what's left. It's a 60 count box and then a 30 count tray. I know this because I was just downstairs organizing my freezers for hours today, cleaning out refrigerators, doing all of that. So there's no eggs in here. Uh, besides the beef hot dogs, there's no meat. I do have a beef freezer and then I have a pork and chicken freezer. So I was able to spend my grocery dollars this month stocking up more on these household items. Yes, getting a few convenience items. I'm proud of me. What else? Yogurt, some milk, other odds and ends. So this total Costco haul was a little over $1,300. I will say, let's say $1,350, so I don't have to go get my receipt out of my wallet, but it was a little over $1,300. And now maybe for a hmm, little bit, I'm stocked up on a few other things. Okay, and then we will get to the sharp shopper part of the evening. So as I always say, sharp shopper is a phenomenal discount store in Virginia and Pennsylvania. They do not plan to open anywhere else. I know many of you have emailed them and asked, but this is it. You're gonna have to travel through Virginia or go to Pennsylvania everything at sharp shopper is not expired okay i have things in here dated for march there's things in here dated for april there's things in here dated for next winter sharp shopper goes in you and you can go i think it's sharpshopper.net is their site they go in whenever there's big name companies maybe they have overstock on items there's overstock on items maybe there's seasonal items they're able to go in and get these items at a great price and then share the savings with us so we have appreciate that sharp shopper this week they had gogurt now this is something that can go in the freezer let's see here i'm looking for my price okay there we go 2.49 i found gogurt at sharp shopper before even for 99 cents but we have not had gogurt in several months and this i mean lots of kids so i will also say like when people see all the granola bars that i have and the rice cakes we have no other pre-packaged snacks in this house at this time. The only pre-packaged snacks that will be in this house, I mean the Go-Gurt, half of this will go in the freezer, the other half will be gone in a few days. So we have these granola bars, we have those granola bars, we have the rice cakes when those aren't individually packaged. These little Cracker Jacks, I was just giving those to the kids for a treat because I don't think most of them have had Cracker Jacks and that was just a little nostalgia thing for me. And then these are for my adult son and he takes those and has his things he packs his lunch for and stuff. So those are for him. Oh, and then I also got these crackers. Look at that, Pepper Jack cheese. And these were $1.99. So I got two of those and the big packs. So in our whole house, for 11 people. So that means like if we have homeschool group, we have a field trip, mama says grab an apple and take a box of granola bars outside to share with your brothers and sisters. This is not all of our snacks and this is not a lot for as many people that live here. We do a lot of fresh fruit and vegetable snacks and like the cheese that I have over there. And then also hard boiled eggs or carrot sticks or celery sticks. Also, you're getting ready to see at our local John Henry General store, that is really where I've been working all their deals for fresh fruits and vegetables. And with that local fresh fruit and vegetable deal location, I never know what they're gonna have. The deals change from day to day. I'm waiting for them to get bananas in. They will have times where they get the 40 pound cases of bananas and they might sell the 40 pound cases for $10. That's what I've got them before. So when I saw bananas at Costco last night, I was like, mm, I'm just gonna wait. I'm just gonna wait. I'm feeling like maybe it's been a few weeks since I've seen the banana cases. We did, we have snagged some phenomenal strawberry deals there lately. They were a dollar a pound. Travis picked those up a week ago when he went by. So we added in those fresh strawberries throughout this past week. Anyway, and on to good stuff. I am gonna give my kids these Klondike shakes in a pouch when I am done filming this video. They are vanilla milkshakes. And we're gonna go ahead, it is the weekend. This brownie is thawed. They are gonna all have one pouch milkshake and one brownie and tomorrow afternoon when we get home from church and we have our sunday lunch and all that guess what everyone can have another brownie and you know for 5.99 yay brownies are done got these little ice cream cups these were a dollar 99 each so this is like 
two times before, you know, the next four to six weeks before I go to Sharp Shopper that they'll have little ice cream cups. Also picked up some broccoli from my broccoli stash. This is also for my adult son and one of those is already eaten, but I was like, hey, let me throw the box on the table. So anyway, that will go in his freezer stash also. And so the rest of these items are from our John Henry General Store. They had mango trays for $10. Now their mangoes, I mean, I have gotten phenomenal mango tray deals there before. I mean, these are obviously not super ripe, but whenever they get to be overripe, I have bought them just a few bucks a case and then I freeze dry them. My kids love the freeze dried mangoes. And I think we're all done from the last load of freeze dried mangoes. So these mangoes still have some time on them and that is good. But I thought, there we go. We can have some fresh mango coming up. Also, they have had a ton of strawberry deals these strawberries let's see okay they're a pound so yeah these were a dollar a pack okay we did not load up again last week my head when my husband went he brought home 40 pounds of strawberries and they were a dollar a pound this week i was like go easy on the strawberries when you stop by but i'm happy to have these four pounds and we will eat these over the next few days they had the big box of the blood oranges trying to see i think this was a 30 pound box i'm looking i'm looking i'm looking well here maybe it's going to be on my receipt no blood orange case okay it was 30 dollars i think this was a 30 either 25 or 30 pound box and then the bacon let's go talk bacon so this bacon deal locally has been all the rage i mean you have not been able to get into their parking lot we could not even get bacon the first couple times they had this so I've never even had this bacon before. It's slice slab smoked bacon. Travis did the math on it. It's a 10 pound box for $37. Travis bought four boxes because we can go through some bacon. You know, will we go through this? I mean, we're not going through this in a week, a month, two months. We also already have some bacon and some bacon in our freezers, but there's never a reason <laughs> to not be stocked up on bacon. So with this bacon, let me show it to you. Okay, and so, oh, it's so beautiful. So I'm going to put one box out in the refrigerator and we will just have some bacon for this coming week. And then the rest of it, I guess I'm just gonna divide it like two different freezer bags. So we will have six five pound freezer bags of bacon if I'm saying that correctly, because we got four boxes, but could not deny the fella the bacon. And I was like, yeah, I mean, again, people are lining up around the block to get this bacon. So I'm glad that we could get in on the bacon extravaganza. Okay, I'm doing my math here. So again, I'm calling it 1350. It was 13 and some change. Uh, Sharp Shopper was only $88 this month. What? Uh, then let's see John Henry uh, we spent 148 on bacon and then I believe between the oranges the mangoes the strawberries let's see oranges were 30 mango cases were 10 each so that's 50 and then the strawberries maybe they were more than a dollar hold on okay now the long stem strawberries one pound, $3.96. So $53.94 with tax, $54.48. I'm just gonna call it 55. Okay, so this is what I spent this month. This is our large family groceries and our large family fill-in items. Of course, included in that amount, $150 on life straws. So it's a month of some stocking up and some extras as well. Should be good on bacon, adding this towards the bacon. Adding this bacon in with the bacon we already have, we should be good on bacon for a couple months. There's still gonna be times though that we need more milk and bread. So we will fill in with some milk and bread and also take advantage of local fresh fruit and vegetable deals. And now for something different, I'm gonna take you downstairs to the grocery store in my basement, as we like to call it, and show you where all this goes when we put it away. And let me say that even though I am here showing you all the household items and all the food and grocery items, 
that I work hard to stay several months that I work hard to stay several months ahead on. I have not gotten to this point overnight. I am the mama that had a $250 grocery budget up to a family of seven for many years. And I truly did once a month grocery shopping where I took three quarters of my grocery budget or a little more at one time. I bought the 15 gallons of milk ahead for the month. I put seven in my little top freezer on my second refrigerator. That was the refrigerator from my first house that we brought to the second house. And then the other seven or eight gallons of milk were down in the refrigerator because we went through about half a gallon or so a day. And back in those days, we truly ate everything that I bought in one month during that four week period. By the third week, I was really, you know, scraping the bottom of the flour barrel. I had my fruit and vegetables planned by the week. So by the third week, if I had gotten a deal on oranges, I knew we would eat the oranges then, but we would eat bananas or strawberries or any other fresh fruit that would quickly expire at the beginning of the month. I had every little carrot stick planned out. We always ate. I was not also working full time outside of the home then, how I had for several years, whenever I worked full time weekends as a charge nurse. And I was also not running a more than full time business from home as I have for well over the last 10 years. And it has been my goal during all of this time, my goal has developed over the years. Back when I had that 250 to 300 or so dollar a month grocery budget, I just dreamed of having a full freezer, full of freezer meals or a full cow or whatever it might be back at that time. But always by the end, the third week was the big stretch and that's when I would go back with like maybe another $50 or so just to fill in to get us through that fourth week to where we could take that couple hundred dollars from my husband's paycheck and I could go again and work the stores and the deals and yes, sharp shopper hard for the next four weeks. So years later, I am many months ahead whenever I do my monthly grocery shopping. Again, some of these items will be around in a couple months. Many of these items, I mean, the milk is gone, the bread is gone, the yogurt's gone, the hot dogs are gone, the cheese is gone, the bacon's gone, well, Okay, maybe the bacon's not gone. The blueberries are gone. The cream cheese is gone. All this fruit probably within the next month is gone. So, you know, again, the lentils, the shrimp, these little noodles, ah, they're gonna be bumping around here for a little bit. The coffee, it's a couple months worth of coffee for my mom and I. We each use one pot a day. So, is this six months of coffee that would technically be hmm, three months, three months. Okay, supposedly that's a year's worth of coffee with the box I already have. That's interesting. I want to date those, I believe, to see. I don't know. But anyway, I only have one box left. So that's kind of neither here nor there. I feel like we definitely go through a thing of hand soap every month. My point in saying all this is I don't want you to be discouraged. I, many years ago, started sharing my grocery shopping online. My very first grocery shopping video, I was just at this wonderful place in life where then I believe I spent six to 700 a month on groceries, which meant my grocery budget had more than doubled. Now I started doing my grocery haul videos on YouTube about nine years ago now. Actually my very first grocery haul video, I think I was about six weeks or so postpartum with Daniel. And so he's eight now. So that, that one must've been eight years ago, but just trying to give perspective, I spent six or $700 a month. It was all of my hopes and dreams. I had my kitchen refrigerator, my neighbor's small freezer that I had bought for $75 and my second refrigerator and I had a small closet pantry. And so here we are eight years later with an even bigger grocery budget. We have over the years added in additional freezers. And I wanna say maybe six or seven years ago, we were able to do something we'd never done before where we bought a whole cow that had been processed and we bought a whole hog. And then I remember when I bought my first bundle of 20 homegrown chickens. Now in 2020, we started raising our own chickens. I've had laying hens for well over 10 years, I think closer to 15 years now, but actually like our own meat birds, we started raising and butchering those in 2020. And now we are raising our own pork, which will be fun. And we actually have two pigs that we've been raising for over a year. And we were looking at them today and we're like, I think they can go to the butcher now. So that'll be exciting. We'll be doing that here in the next few months as well. And then of course, you know, I'm growing with my home canning skills. None of this is overnight. 
that that's my encouragement to you none of this is overnight it all has taken me time i have many more people these days to feed and whenever i watch other large family grocery budgets and large family shopping online like my friend sarah over at our tribe of many and of course there's several ladies over on TikTok and other places that spend way more than what sarah and i spend but in 2020 that's when i made a new good friend i read a book called a year without the grocery store by author karen Morris since then. Karen's become one of my good friends. I talk to her all the time. So I learned a lot from her book about food storage and food preservation and also the goal of having up to a year of food stored that she would rotate with her family. And so ultimately that's my goal. I would love to have a year's worth of all the items that we use as much in advance as possible and then rotate through those items. And you know, I think I'm pretty decent in that respect when it comes to my downstairs pantry with my canned good items that I have stored stocked up on and that I rotate through with my family. And you see, I don't even have any canned goods at all in this grocery haul because I just don't need any at this time. I am getting low on my tomato products, but I'm hoping to slowly start switching those out with home canned items. But I wanted to take a few minutes before we unload all of this to encourage you that no matter what your grocery budget is, there are a few things that you can do to help stretch your dollar and help feed your family well. One of the first things I started to teach myself out of necessity because for two years I was in nursing school and then I was working full-time weekends as a charge nurse was batch cooking so I simply made enough for more than one meal whenever I was cooking that started actually as a family of four when I was in nursing school and then up until we were a family of five even though we're a family of 11 now and even though I'll feed 14 or 15 just depending on the day and who's coming over and all of that those skills really came in handy even though we were a smaller family because it saved my time and energy on the other days also another thing that I put into place that was super helpful was meal planning for the month it doesn't have to be every meal but if I could just know what my dinners were for the month I could batch cook that still put me cooking two to three times a week but I could batch cook and I knew what I needed whenever I did my big grocery shopping trip to the grocery store and the once a month grocery shopping really helped me because it was a big time savings when I had a lot of little kids, everyone had to come to the grocery store with me. I only had to go once and it was like our one big day out and the time it took was just the time it took and it took all day and that was okay because that was our big effort. And then later in the month, around that third week when we had to do our little fill in haul, I could leave the kids at home with my husband one evening, depending on when he got home and all of that of course. And I could just run out for maybe an hour by myself my little mom time out and get what we needed to kind of finish up the month and also if it's helpful I have a free product called how I feed my family of 11 for hundred dollars it's a week of dinners I did a video on it I did one of my cooking guides on it it has a grocery list but you can shop your items at home first but in I believe it was July 2022 I took that list to my local Walmart I actually came in under hundred dollars I shopped for everything as if I had nothing at home and I did those seven nights of dinners just to share with my viewers who needed those tips on how it can be done so that's something you can still sign up and I'll send it out for you for free and I'll put that link down in the description below if you're interested so anyway let's go put all this away and I'll give you a tour on where it's all gonna go I don't know if I showed you all. Did I show you what this slab bacon looks like? I think I did. Did I? Okay. So this is gonna go in freezer bags and go in the freezer also, but it can also take a couple days in this refrigerator until I circle back and get to it. So I just did a recent video where we went through all these freezers and reorganized them. These two freezers and this one are new in 
fall 2022 to replace three seven cubic feet small chest freezers that we had got for when we butcher animals. Adventures on the Homestead we've been having the last couple years and then I had a free chest freezer that someone had passed on to us that I also was using. These other two I got the first one in 2016, the second one in 2018 and these that's my refrigerator I've had for say it with me well well over 20 years Travis and I've been married almost 25 years and that's our first house refrigerator I got this refrigerator 2018 ish also this one was upstairs in 2020 this one came with the house so anyway I do a lot of mega food content and feed a lot of people so they come in handy so I'm gonna give you a tour this is just like a dirty drink refrigerator I'm gonna show it to you it's still just a dirty drink refrigerator okay some drinks have like exploded all of that this freezer is my oldest son who still lives at home that's his for his lunch stuff um, anyway and also in this recent freezer tour where we reorganized and decluttered and made this into like a dedicated fruit and vegetable uh, freezer several of my refrigerators were empty but now I just did a big grocery haul so this just shows you how things flex so in this one now we have about nine gallons of milk they got a gallon when I got home from the grocery haul, uh, that's about 90 eggs I've had. Had those for several weeks now. Our chickens are back in eggs, but I'll work through these as well. I'm just going to leave the butter in there. I'm not going to actually freeze it yet. That's dated for July, so in a couple months, if for some reason I'm not to that butter, it just depends on what cooking I'm doing, um, that can go in the freezer cream cheese this is almond milk and some half and half we already had there's two cheese logs up there also that my husband needs to process okay and then over here we have the gogurt deals the triple zero Greek yogurt deals and then this bacon that as I said I'm probably gonna freeze a bunch of that and then I'll just show you what's in here we've got some ice packs and some flour and then all kinds of popsicles up here priorities this is pork and chicken and a lot of upcoming cooking projects. So I put the hot dogs in here and the other things of bacon. I got this bacon before I knew that my husband was gonna snag all that other bacon. <laughs> anyway, we've got, like I showed you in my freezer tour video, these two shelves here are cooking projects coming up and this shelf here. A lot of this is our homegrown chicken and turkeys and then parts of the whole hog that we bought. As I say, Coming up soon, it should be our own pigs that we have raised, the Cooney Coonies. But in the meantime, we're processing through this. And then in this freezer, I have the full cow that I have not canned yet or we haven't used yet. We've been working through it. And then I also, some of these quick Costco, you know, meatballs, I'll, a, a bunch of this I will use also as I make my upcoming freezer meals, just like I did in the last freezer meals. We shopped the freezers and the pantry down here first. Um, up here, a lot of different like English muffins, Ezekiel English muffins and hot dog buns and those bagels I got a bit ago for 99 cents. We moved those over here to this freezer so we'll be going through those soon. And then here is just our recent fruit deals but this will flex and change and there will be other fruit in here as we use those up. And then here is the full fruit and veggie freezer that is jam packed but Again, my smoothie making kids, that's like their smoothie shelf. We have bags of bananas and all kinds of fruit. We're gonna process those into some jams and jellies coming up. And then we have a variety of vegetables and some cranberries. So there we go, we have that. And then over here, yay, all my hopes and dreams. We have this freezer, meal freezer. And when I reorganized, I was able to like move my French toast over in here. We will be working through these meals over the coming weeks and coming months. I mean, slow cooker freezer meals, when I do those, 
I like to make a variety of them, but I might still have some of these and some other freezer meals we haven't even made yet, uh, you know, available in 12 to 16 weeks. We'll work through them as needed. I have had times with my freezer meals where I cannot cook or do anything for six to eight weeks, and we just eat down all these freezer meals and I'm so thankful to have them. And then at other times, like I say, they will be sprinkled throughout as needed over several months. Again, feeding 11 all day every day takes a lot of food. So there's that. And then over here, so I have some tomatoes that got missed with that tomato processing, some other fruit and veggie projects that will be coming up, but I just stuck those little Costco convenience meals up there again. The pizzas alone, that's 12. Basically everyone would have two of those mini pizzas. So is that's one and a half lunches and two of those are already gone and those will be gone. So they're not even there. It's like they're not even there. That's how that works. Thank you so much for watching my large family grocery haul. If you enjoyed this grocery haul, I've been doing them since dinosaurs roamed the earth. I'll be sure to pop a playlist up here if you'd like to watch more. I will also have some videos that pop up on the screen. If you want to watch our big batch freezer cooking and massive food preservation projects, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you real soon with another brand new video. Bye bye.